Hey guys, we are back here at SeaWorld Orlando to check out the Seven Seas Food Festival, which is a festival going on around the park. But before we go inside the park, we're going to tell you some couple of things. One, this parking situation is absolutely bonkers. So like there's cars parked in the tram lot, there's cars parked literally at the car lines. So that was, this was an odd experience. I don't know if the overflow is full or not, but yeah. And then also second thing is uh, over here, Looks like they've closed this fencing off and they're probably possibly getting ready for a 2023 roller coaster. So that's very exciting considering how amazing Icebreaker actually was. We're hopefully going on, on that again tonight. Um, parks open for another five hours. They literally extended hours because it's just so slammed in Orlando right now. Literally, I just got off work and that was absolutely chaotic. <laughs> but yeah, but that's Disney, but still. Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, you cannot escape the crowds in Orlando. It is absolute chaos. Even at Busch Gardens, it is complete, just a complete mess right now over at Busch Gardens because it's super busy. Luckily, when I went on Wednesday, it wasn't bad, so that's that. But yeah, it's just, it's going to be a very busy. Luckily, um, they have all four coasters running tonight, so that's good. All right, so I got a couple of times for uh, Mako and Icebreaker, um, but I am with the failing site, so I might not vlog as much, but still going to get some footage in of me sampling food. So we got to our first three things. So didn't record much there, but I did, let's see. Uh, we did try the lobster mac and cheese, which is good, but I didn't taste the lobster much, but also I got to try this Nutella uh, funnel cake. My sister was obsessed with that. I thought it was good, but nothing shot at. And then we tried this, uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, brisket tachos. And those are pretty good too. I'm not the biggest brisket fan, but I enjoyed them. So yeah, you can find all that, all the all American market. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it. All right, so uh, we're gonna go back to the Italian market later. However, I was able to squeeze in one ride on the Mako, um, the B&M Hyper Coaster, and after riding Iron Guazi, Mako is absolutely a family coaster. <laughs> it literally feels like a family coaster in comparison to Iron Guazi. His Iron Guazi is just an ejector machine, nonstop. The new ride Mako is a little more floater, you know, a little more smooth, relaxing. It felt like a family coaster, honestly. All right, so I took a quick ride on Icebreaker, um, and that ride was really good. It did feel a little slow this time, but I don't know. These coasters do not seem anywhere near as intense after riding Iron Guazi at Bush Gardens. Like, I, that's just fast. Iron Guazi was just so ridiculous that it made every coaster in the park feel like a family coaster. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so, um, a few minutes later, I just did um, Kraken as well, and that was running intense tonight, so that was great. Um, we go ahead, and we got some meatballs and a bruschetta to try. These are the meatballs, they're usually really good, so I'm excited to try these again. Mmm. About as good as they usually are. A little bit of a bread, too, which is nice. I know this music's copyrighted. Let's try this bruschetta. Bruschetta looks really good too. I'm a little messy, but this is kind of how I eat bruschetta. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Mmm. The napkins went out of the way. Mmm. Very fresh. That'll give it, it's very fresh and really good. Literally, everyone's at Icebreaker right now. All the BM coasters have short to little wait times, which is crazy considering the insane lines that we saw for the park coming in. All right, so our final sample for tonight is gonna be this Brazilian cheese bread. Mmm, this is definitely a classic. I really enjoy this. Highly recommended. Alrighty guys, that concludes another amazing vlog today. Um, Manta, um, the back row, still needed some time to recover from that. That was absolutely insane. That pretzel loop, it just never gets old. And so yeah, overall tonight, you know, it was a little slow, but hey, got to sample some food, do some fun roller coasters. Um, best ride of tonight was definitely Mako. That was absolutely hauling. Um, so yeah, that was gonna end this video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future if you enjoyed this one. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park Eye Productions on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Go check it out because like, what went you guys? I'll see you guys next time and you're clear for dispatch.